Hello, friends and fans. Welcome to A Got to Getaway. If you're new here, I'm Lena, and if you're returning, welcome back. It has been a moment since I've done my last unboxing kind of video. I guess I did do a few hauls from convention lens earlier this year, I think. Maybe. I can't remember if I did a KatsuCon haul or not. But, um... I've been trying to be very good and not buy a ton of stuff from Closet Child, and then um, I I was not good, I guess. Good is relative. Um, I still see all the Closet Child updates. Uh, I'm signed up for their newsletter, so basically whenever they update the website, they send you a highlight of things that are in the update and i'll sometimes go and scroll through the new items that are listed just in case because there are a handful of dream items that i'm still searching for uh so this is mostly a lolita haul for you guys today um if you don't know what closet child is it's a secondhand retailer i have a lot of closet child haul videos i'll drop a link to my full haul playlist of which there's probably 20 or something closet child hauls in there uh yeah so with that let's get into this i'm going to apologize in advance you will hear the crinkling of the plastic i've only um undone the tape at the top so that I could open the box easily. And um, I think I remember most of what's in here. I did pull up my list of how much everything costs and what should be in here, so I can let you guys know the prices of things. But it's actually a small box for me, all things considered. Usually when I order from Closet Child and get one of these boxes, they are slam full to the top. And this one has a little bit of a gap. But whatever, it's fine. This is fine. Let me open up my pricing list again and then just pick from the top. I think we're going to start with, yeah, okay, so we have an accessory right here on the top. This is a bag. And I believe this is one of the Q-Pot Mook bags. If you don't know what a Mook is, it is a magazine slash book that for the Q-Pot style ones, it tends to be a collection of new items that they'll be releasing for whatever that season is, and oftentimes it'll include a little free gift kind of thing. So this tote bag, I believe, would have come in a mook. Uh, Q-Pot does really high quality bags, and they do kind of cheaper bags that come with the, the mooks. The mooks are only like maybe $30. I got this bag for... 660 yen. So that's right around $5 USD. I want to say that the current yen to dollar conversion is like $1 is 25 USD. Overall, the bag doesn't look like it has any real damage. There's creases in it from being folded in the mook or just for transit. There's some minor like scratches on the back. I don't have a ton of mint and chocolate items, but I do want to get the mint colorway for chocolate chests. The only one that I've never owned before. Um, and I have the Jabot JSK in multiple cuts and color. Uh, yeah, I have two colorways and two cuts, so four of them in total. And I love getting chocolate themed items to pair with that. Uh, yeah, so this is the first item. I'm really excited about this. The zipper is kind of, you know, mid-tier quality, but for the price, this is amazing. I love it. I, I collect the Q-Pot Mook bags, and I love Q-Pot jewelry, so big fan of the brand. I'm excited to have this. I think I've had this in, like, their pinkish colorway before, but not in the mint, so that's exciting. Let's see. Next, we have let me go ahead and pull from the bottom. I have some more small accessories that I got. These ones were not quite as cheap as the bag. The bag is like, I think the cheapest item I got in this order. Um, no, there was one item. No, yeah, that was the cheapest item. Okay, so next we have a pair of, I think, baby socks. And I think it's an angelic pretty necklace. We're going to find out together. So there was one skirt in this that I bought these to go with. Oh, how these are new. These have never been used before. Still new with their tags. So yes, these are Baby the Star Shines Bright. These are a pair of card suit Trump and diamond socks. Um, I wanted to do like a full Alice in Wonderland coordinate. I didn't think that these were brand new. So these were 28, 2,750 yen. 
So right around $25. That is close to the retail price, but um, I don't know if these are actually available new from Baby right now. And either way, it would have been cheaper for me to buy it with everything else I was buying in this lot and save the shipping costs because if I bought just the socks directly new from Baby, even though this is close to retail, um, I don't think I would have gotten, it would have cost more overall because of shipping. Next, this is, I for a while was collecting Angelic Pretty Jewelry and then I stopped wearing Angelic Pretty Jewelry. And this piece I have kind of been looking for, but I didn't want to pay too much of a stupid price for it. I did kind of, yeah, this is reasonable-ish side. This was 3,850 yen. So just about 35-ish dollars. Which, considering it retailed for probably closer to 60 or 70, not bad, uh, IMO. Maybe it was closer to 50, but I think that it's higher than that. So we have a big heart and then a bunch of small card suits. These are angelic pretty. You can see the AP thing right there. And it's got the little brand tag, like angelic pretty on the heart as well. Again... You know, these two will make sense when I pull out. Maybe I'll pull that out next. I just wanted to have a full outfit set. So it's kind of exciting that like I was able to log on to Closet Child and just get like a full outfit, basically. Um, I didn't buy really a blouse to go with this, but that's okay, I own blouses. So next we have the reason I made this order. So for people who maybe know me and have been following my closet child orders, you probably are aware that I love Meta's full shirt skirts. I have purchased this skirt in a different colorway before and I did not end up keeping it because the colorway just didn't work for me and both the closet and what I was like willing to wear. Uh, but you see it's a like cute little card suit theme. It's Alice in Wonderland. It's got the little rabbit and then the bears and then the let's see there's the meta logo maybe little swans together i love all of these little um the cookies and the tea stuff all over it i'm super excited for this i'll probably pair it with a white blouse and a vest or i have a couple of different blue blouses and some red ones i can think of a bunch of different ways to coordinate this and the socks I figured would go with this perfectly, and the necklace, of course, to tie the whole thing together. Uh, if I have time at the end of this, I'll throw them all on, although I can tell this is, you know, this is the thing about Closet Child, you're buying secondhand clothes, and the elastic in the top end of this is not in the best condition. Um, it's kind of rolled up, it smells like it's been in storage for a while, which I have pretty bad dust allergies. But this skirt in particular was only 3,300 yen. Again, right around 30 bucks. I know that new, these skirts are anywhere from between like 75 to 150 dollars, depending on whether you get them in a lucky pack or not. So very excited for this. Then I got a second meta skirt, which is again, the whole reason I placed this order is because there were two meta skirts that came up. This one was a little bit more expensive at 3,630 yen, um, but it's typewriter squirrels, typewriter squirrels. I don't know the name of the Alice print, um, even though I've owned it before, but this, this skirt, let me tell you, okay, so this is the white colorway of it, and this was released, I want to say, in 2014. This is a Lucky Pack release that it was released with a blouse, or not a blouse, it was like a t-shirt, and uh, that said Meta on the front, and a Meta tote bag. And that was probably, I want to say it was maybe 50 bucks for that set, or it was like $100 for the set. Either way, it was very inexpensive. So I used to own this skirt. I had gotten it, and I'd gotten the purple colorway. It was, it was a lucky pack, so it was kind of random what colorway you would get. It would either be a dark colorway or a light colorway, and I chose the light one, and I got the purple one. And after I sold that skirt, I had regrets. <laughs> And it doesn't show up that often secondhand because it wasn't 
the most popular prints, so the people who ended up with it actually kept them. And I am just so excited to have, you can see the little, there's the typewriters and the squirrels, and it says metamorphose all over it. And I'm just so excited to have this skirt back in my collection. Like white's kind of a rough colorway to have to like work with because if I spill something, which I, I'm very clumsy, um, I have to treat it right away. But I love this. I'm so excited for this skirt. And uh, maybe I'll put together a coordinate. If you don't see me putting on a coordinate here, check out my Instagram. I'll have a link below for that. And you can see how I decide to wear this in the future. Last but not least, there should be two items in here. Yes. Okay, that's it for the box. Um, both of these I kind of looked at for a while. And one of them is like a regular thing that I tend to collect and buy. And I'll start with that. This is the second, like, not most expensive, but like expensive, least expensive item that was in this order. This was only 880 yen, so like, honestly, seven or eight bucks. This is an Axis Femme pair of pants. Axis Femme pants, I usually will go for the ones that have full elastic waist, and they do tend to fit me well enough. I'm right at like, 98 centimeters to 100 centimeters in my natural waist right now so it's snug but it's not so bad i guess it's bearable basically um i tend to wear them with corsets and whatnot and use these in more og boy style kind of looks because i do like to do my gender queerness kind of all the time this has look at these legs i'm <laughs> so this is i don't i don't know if there's okay these are secret pants. That's that's the only way I can describe it because it's it does they are pants and it's lined so it's got this like chiffony material and then a lining fabric on the inside that are more of a pant shape than the lining but it's like a pleated chiffon. These are so cool. I I'm going to have so much fun trying like figuring out styles to wear these. I'm almost tempted to wear these tonight because I'm going out tonight. Um, they're kind of a very dark charcoal gray, almost eggplant color. I'm not 100% sure. I'm going to have to take them like directly outside and see if I can get an actual read on what colors these are. Maybe it looks purple because I'm wearing purple today, but it definitely right now looks purple and the details on it are gray and black but it could be just a really dark gray as well that's got like cool undertones uh yeah so for like eight dollars i am so excited for these i have a few dozen at this point axis femme pants that are great if you are mid-sized or straight sized um yeah so that's a cool option for people. I think everything I have here is like in the mid-size range. The last item is something I wanted to experiment with. They had a couple of them come in stock. This is from a brand I don't typically shop from. I think it's called A Marvel or, or Marvel or something like that. Um, and I'm a big fan of Angelic Pretty's like sweater dresses. They have these sweater material sack garments that they started releasing a few years ago. And this is a very similar cut to those. It is like a size large in what US sizing would be considered as far as like the actual measurements that were provided online. It should have like a hundred centimeter bust. I'm a little bit more than that in my bust right now, but because of the material, I'm hoping it'll stretch. Oh, wow, wait, <laughs> I think this will be fine actually. Like looking at it, it's gonna fit me without having to stretch at all. So there were two of these, and this is the simpler one. Let me see if I got the brand made. Let me, here's the brand tag, so you guys can see that. So there is another one on Closet Child right now that was a little bit smaller, that had cute heart pockets. This one does not have any front pockets. Does it have side pockets? No side pockets, but it does have really nice full gathered sleeves, kind of see, and then it's got rabbit ears which are super cute. It is kind of a cool toned lavendery gray. Uh, I'm really excited to try these on. Winter is coming to an end here. It's, it's firmly spring outside, but these types of like oversized 
sweaters are super comfortable and I think when the AC gets turned on again this will be great for wearing around the house and maybe to I don't know if I'll wear it to like more casual meetups but definitely to like anime conventions to have for evening times when I'm hanging out with the Lolita Collective. So yeah this was I don't know if I remember if I said it was like 30,000 yen 33,000 something like that. So not bad considering that the angelic pretty long cute sweaters go for like anywhere from 100 to 250 dollars depending on if you're buying it new or secondhand and even then secondhand some of those cuts people are just like charging stupid money for so with that um i'll go ahead and insert any try-ons here and before i do that i just want to go ahead and say thank you so much for joining my unboxing video if you like this like i said i'll i have a whole playlist of them and be sure to subscribe i do fashion content for the most part i try and upload at least once a week if not every other week my schedule is all over the place right now but uh interactions make me more likely to post so please leave a comment down below let me know which is your favorite piece and i'll see you in my next video whether it's morning afternoon or night i hope you have an amazing time wherever you are and i'll see you next time bye